Hey y'all, what's going on? Just wanted to come to you today, do a quick review on some of Kamari's beard balm, as well as some of the beard oil. I've been getting asked plenty of questions since I launched the product. How does it work? Does it work? What does it do? So I just figured I'd show you guys. Look, I've been letting, I finally decided to let my beard grow out and I gotta hit the barber shop, but I'll be going to get it in. Look, I can run a comb through it now. But anyway, the beard bomb basically, it's on, it promotes growth, but even more important than that, it hydrates your skin, it leaves it soft, leaves it feeling good. Um, underneath your hair, um, you know, normally like you'll get maybe hair bumps, different things like that. Well, I can't speak for everyone, but I haven't got any um, since I started using my beard balm. That's whether I shave, use clippers, or whatever, because I got to keep it edged up. Although right now it's looking a little rough. But just so you guys can see, let's see. Haven't put any on today either, so I definitely will be showing you up close when I go ahead and put it on. Um, my beard balm is made of all natural products. You have beeswax, the shea butter. Everybody knows shea butter is very good for the skin. But not only the shea butter, you have sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, and of course coconut oil. That's what keeps it solid. The coconut oil, the beeswax, and the shea. I'm going to use the unscented, as I have unscented, I have mahogany teak wood, which is a real nice, um, that's probably my favorite. I'm going to use some of the mahogany teak wood oil, though. Um, I'm one of the people that use both. Some people use just the balm, some people prefer the oil. I use a little bit of both. Um, but. I have mahogany teak wood, sandalwood, a fragrance that I call Paul Bunyan, and then I have a fragrance called a shave and a haircut, all to go with the unscented fragrance. You don't need much, as y'all can see, I've been just using a little bit, but this is about all, let's see. This is about all you need. You see, that's like a nail. Maybe I get a little bit more. And you have to rub it in, kind of like what you would do with your hair grease because of the oils in it. Then you apply. And you apply. Now, for most, this will be the end of it. They would apply, get their comb, I have my little comb. Get your comb. As you can see, we're going straight through. You see the shine already. You'll get your comb or your brush. But like I say, I do want a little smell. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit, just a little, if you can see. A couple drops of the mahogany teak wood. Same thing. Now look, fellas, I've turned heads with the mahogany teak wood. Again, to each his own on the fragrance of choice or what you decide to pick, but I'm telling y'all, the mahogany teak wood is very, very, very nice. Brush it in. It makes it easy to maintain. It's not all nappy, rough feeling and looking. The ladies love it against their skin because you ain't cutting them with them rough hairs. Not to mention, it leaves a hell of a smell. But here y'all go. Kamari's Fragrance Creations Beard Balm and Beard All. Holla at me. Please like, comment, subscribe on the video. Me and my daughter will have more and more videos coming as we're just getting this channel jumped off. I appreciate the support. Um, also, check out all the links where you can follow us at. Um, thanks, and we out.